The hook is ready. Now we are going to start stitching. Take out the head and the body. Put this thin wire through. And then at the position of slip stitch, align the piece with the slip stitch of the body. Get the sewing needle. Start sewing. A stitch to a stitch. Just a stitch down and a stitch up. It's not easy to sew. You have to line it up. And then a stitch down. And a stitch up. One stitch at a time. We sew to the end to leave a little gap and put cotton in it. Just go ahead and sew it up. Otherwise it would be empty. And then take this yarn. Bring it out from back eye of the needle. Just put it aside and then sew the hands. The corresponding one is the same. Get the position right. There is not a special skill in stitching. Get the position right. Just make it look good. Once it's done, try to thread it into the same place. Two or three of them go into the same place. Fasten up in the hole. Break the yarn again. Use tweezers to tuck the knot into the fabric. And the wing is down. Put the hat on from bottom to top is more convenient. After finish it, then sew the eyes. Find a good location, it's all done the same way, as long as it looks good. Once we had all the little accessories sewed together, something like that we're going to do his hair. Get the satin needle in place. Just sew it on the side of the head. It's in the nice row. At this position. A little bit in is fine. 
or in or find the location. It depends on the style you like. And then take it off. Sew it. Take out the hair thread the color we like. Put it on the sewing needle. It goes through this needle. Bring it out in the general position. And put it through this needle. Again, it's coming out of this needle. Bring it out. and move on. From the next stitch, the next stitch goes in and comes out in the original stitch. There are fewer stitches on the hat. Evenly distributed, this side goes in and the other side goes out. Keep sewing where the finger is pointing. Make sure that all the tails are in the same eye after sewing. Inside the same needle, fasten off. Cut the end of thread for ease of handling. This knot is a little bit too big. Tuck the knot into the fabric, adjust it with a needle. The hair is sewn up. Then get the thin wire and locate the eyes. It intersperses needles. Let's see if the two sides are symmetric. For stitches on each side, eight in the middle, glue the eyes into this position. Once the eyes are glued, apply blush with a small brush. Our little frog is finished.